Beryl, Beryl, Beryl is my school. Best education reserve for young learners just like me. Beryl, Beryl. My wonderful pupils of preschool, how are you doing? I believe you're fine. It's a new week and I'm here to take you on social habits. And we are going to look at water. Last week we saw that water is a colorless, tasteless, and odorless liquid. It does not have color, it does not have taste, and it does not have odor. It does not smell, it does not taste sweet, it does not also have color. Water is clear, pure, like the water I showed you last week. You remember that? Okay, we also saw the sources of water. I see where we can also get water from. Where can we get water from? I believe I told you something last week that maybe by the time you'll be watching the video, it may be raining outside. So you can now look at rain as one of the sources of water. You can get water from the rain, from the tap, from spring, well, river, stream. We can get water from so many sources, which I have mentioned to you. And today we are going to look at uses of water. What do we use water for? I know you can tell me so many things that you use water for. You can tell me water is for drinking, water is for cooking, water, so many things. All right, before we go into detail, let's sing the song. Water for drinking, water for cooking, water for washing, water for bathing, water for my flowers, water for the old man paddling the canoe. Let's try it again. Water for drinking, water for cooking, water for washing, water for bathing, water for my flowers, water for the old man paddling the canoe. This is a canoe. All right, beautiful children. So we go into our lesson. We say we use water for drinking, water for bathing, water for cooking, water for washing, water for watering of plants. Mommy uses water to cook for you. Mommy uses water to bathe you. When you're bathing, you use water. When you are thirsty, what do you do? You drink water. And when mommy wants to wash your clothes, what will she use? She uses water to wash. So we use water for drinking. We use water for cooking. We use water for washing. We use water for bathing. What did I say? We use water for drinking. We use water for cooking. We use water for washing and we use water for bathing. So what are the uses of water? Water for drinking, water for bathing, water for cooking, water for washing, water for watering of plants. So can you now tell me what we use water for? Yes. Drinking. Cooking. Bathing. And washing. What do we use water for? Drinking. Cooking. Washing. And bathing. Alright. Water is for washing. Mommy is washing. We use water for washing. Water for drinking. She is drinking water. Water for bathing. Water for cooking. Mommy is cooking jollof rice. Okay, my lovely children, we have seen the uses of water. That we use water for... Did I hear you say cooking? Good. Water for, did you say washing? Good. Water for bathing. Lovely. And water for washing and drinking. That is excellent. Okay, right now, let's 
quickly look at this and then we'll go to our homework. Uses of water. That is what we use water for. Water for drinking. Water for bathing. Water for cooking. Water for washing. Water for watering our plants. That takes us to our short homework. Alright. Okay, children, our homework says mention five uses of water. What did I say? Mention five uses of water. So you can tell mommy five uses of water. You tell mommy, mommy, let me tell you the five uses of water, what we use water for, and that will be lovely. Okay, my lovely children, we've come to the end of our lesson today. Do have a nice time and behave well. Remember to do your homework and always know that I love you and I'm missing you here. Bye.